This is Die With A Smile Guitar Tutorial Part 1. Now I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible um, for the first part. I'm going to just show you the basic chords. Um, it's in the scale of A. That's the scale of A. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. First two chords are literally going from chord 1 to chord 4 in the scale. A to D. Very simple. This is for the intro and the verse. So we're going to start with the chord of A. Uh, you'll have to look up the chord of A, I'm not going to do it on this tutorial, uh, to D. Okay, so look up chord of A, chord of D. Um, this is actually an A major 7th. In fact, uh, I think all of these chords are 7th. So instead of doing an A, which would be uh, frets um, 2, fret 2, from all, the, all of those, so it's A string, then fret 2, fret 2, fret 2, then open, that would be a standard A. We have to move the fingers around to an A major 7th again. Look it up, it's a beautiful chord, but basically the first finger goes on the G string on fret 1 and the second finger then goes on the D string on fret 2. So you're going to have to look up your A major 7. That's your basic chord. The strum pattern is uh, pretty simple all the way through. It's 6, 8 and we're going to go 1, 2 and 3 and 1, 2 and 3 and it's just down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up down up okay one two and three and one two and three and and you've got to do four bars so it starts off one two and three and 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 you're then going to go to a d major seventh now this is very simple um from here you're just going to take those the, the first finger off and the second finger off second finger is going to go on the g string fret two then the little finger goes on the top E string, fret 2. So you've got all those last three fingers on fret 2 and an open D string. Like that. So I'll just practice changing those chords from there. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm taking the finger 2 up of a string and then putting the little finger in to create a D major 7. Okay? Just keep practicing that change. Alright? Again, look up the chords. I'm not going to spend ages going into that on this video. Uh, maybe on a later video I'll go through them if you want to do it in more depth. Okay, so that's your first two chords, and so it's four. Um, it's four times. The way that they change, or the, the guitarist changes, is quite nice. On the last time through, it goes one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and and just plucks the A string on its own, which gives you chain time to change. And you can always use the last down up. So that's your basic uh, chords for the verse. Then the, the pre-chorus, this changes to a different D. Now, I don't think anyone else has got this on YouTube yet, so uh, you're privileged if you're watching this one. It sounds really beautiful, so it's really worth getting it right. Um, this is actually another way of playing a D uh, major 7th. And let me just show you the four chords for the verse. So, for the pre-chorus. Oops, here we go. So this is the pre-chorus, and it's going to go um, from chord 4 to chord 1. So you're going from D to A to chord 3, which is C-sharp minor, to chord 6, which is F-sharp minor. So you're going from 4 to 1, so D to A, to chord 6, which is F-sharp minor, to chord 3, which is C-sharp minor. Um, so let me just show you that. Uh, we're going to go, uh, we're starting with the D, 
which is this one. So really nice. Basically, you're taking a C chord. Again, look it up. I'm not going to do it on this tutorial. I might do it on a later one if people want to follow right through. We're taking a C chord and we're barring it up. So we're going to move the C chord up two, like that, and barring it. This is quite complicated. There you go. You only need to bar like, I would bar the top five strings like that. Little finger then is going to go on fret five. Um, third finger going on fret four and then second finger going on fret two on the B string. So it's a C chord barred, basically. Um, but you're taking that faint finger two out, this gives you a beautiful major seventh, okay? And it's really worth doing this because it'll sound beautiful. Now we're gonna use this bar for, for these chords, so keep that bar there. So we're gonna do the same again. This is the pre chord. So, and he does a nice uh, one, two, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, three. And, one, two, three. and the three he uses to change, or she. So it's one, two, change, okay? Now to change, you're gonna go, this is now gonna be, um, this is actually, uh, the. this is an A chord now, and it is A major seventh again. Um, and it's basically this D chord, like this, and you did it at the beginning, but it's barred right up here. Okay, see so it's the same chord, so it's like those three, open D with those three was your D chord. Now you're coming right up here to fret seven. As I said, we're barring the first five strings, and then we're adding in, we're barring now the top three strings on fret nine, like that. And that, that's technically the root, but they're actually playing all five strings. So you're barring the A string, the D string, and then you're using this finger to bar, that's on fret seven, then you're using this finger to bar the uh, fret nine uh, uh, with 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 that one. So this is going to be okay. So we're going to go from here. Beautiful D major seventh four times up to this um, E major seventh. This is really really nice. Now, now what happens is this is actually a minor seventh. It's a bit of a jazz chord. Now the way you do it, this takes quite a bit of practice, you, it's, it's worth learning if you want to learn some jazz chords though, but it's quite a nice transition from here. So we had this other one, you're literally taking, you barred those top three, you're going to take that same finger and now bar the D, the G and the B string, like that, okay? Then the second finger goes, this is comp difficult, it took me quite a while to learn this um, when I was a bit younger. This is a sort of a jazz chord, but it's a standard jazz shape that you build all your jazz shapes from. So the second finger goes on the top, over the top to the bottom E string, same fret, okay? And then if you can get it in, this first finger then goes two frets back on the um, A string. Pretty nice chord, hey? That, like that. But you can keep the bar in. So, um, because that, that then is all red. So from there, this finger is all, this bar is already playing the A string. So you just move this, this finger down to cover the, the street, three strings on the string below and put that second finger in and you get that chord. So you're going from here, just moving that down and then putting that bottom finger in to there. Okay, so you're going from here, you move that, that, that barred, third finger down a string to cover the D, G and B string, then put the second finger in at the bottom, like that, okay? So it's two, change, so you're gonna go uh, change, like that, that's it. Um, and then you're gonna go down to, um, oh, you do this crazy bit. <laughs> just F sharp, so you've got F sharp is D string fret four, um, and then bottom E string fret two. Hello Sonic. <laughs> Can we join the video? <laughs> My cat. Okay, so, and it just goes one, two, three, one, it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you're playing on the one and the two and nothing on the three. Hello. So you're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and slowly it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. All right, um, and then we're into the chorus. So we're gonna now play the same chord again, the D major seventh. This is beautiful and it's only two bars this time. So one, two and three and one, two and three and this is really lovely. Now what we're gonna do for the, um, 
uh, what we're going to do for the next two chords here. Um, so basically, that is supposed to be a D major seventh actually. So that's incorrect. So D major seventh. Then we're going to go to an E, uh, which is chord five. So we're going basically from chord four to chord five. But we're keeping the D major seventh. What we're doing is we're going to put the bottom E underneath it. So it's technically a D major seventh with an E in the bass. Really beautiful. Really nice, easy transition. So you're going to go one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and then two, and three, and one. You hear that? You're just putting the E in, and it sounds beautiful. And it sort of mimics a chord five, which is the E major. But it's really a D major seventh with an E in the bass. So it's chord, um, uh, chord four with a, with a note five in the bass. So we're going so doing this again, it's the D major seventh, as you did in the pre-chorus, add in the bass note. Beautiful, hey. Uh, one, two, change. You're gonna bring that bar back up to here, you're coming back to th this chord, um, which is the um, which you did in the pre-chorus, and this chord is C sharp minor. Okay, it's the same C sharp minor you did in the pre-chorus. And you can just keep that bar there. So you're going from keeping the bar, so you're going there. Adding the B in the bass, and you're keeping that bar there, adding in the third finger and the bottom finger as you did in the pre chorus. And then this is a new one. It's exactly the same shape as this, but on fret two, it's an F sharp minor. Okay, now it's again, you're barring those three as you did before, you're putting this one on the bottom string as you did with the previous chord, but then you've got an open A in the, in the middle there. So it's get it, it's quite hard. Alright, so all together it's one, two, three, four, then E in the bass, then you've got your C sharp and then your F sharp, and it goes round again, same again, add the E in the bass, F sharp, uh, C sharp minor, down to F sharp minor. So you do the same thing twice, and then back round again, just only two chords this time, so you're going to go your D, so back around the third time, back up to the back up to here. So it's three times round. Then the fourth time round is just two chords D, and you end on the with the E in the bass. Beautiful. I'm gonna be next to you. Back to the verse. Okay, that was really complicated. I admit that. But anyone who wants to play it properly, this is how it's played properly. Um, and you've got to press those jazz chords. A little bit complicated. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, and in part two, I'll maybe do another part. Um, I'll do another aspect of this. Maybe, I don't know. I'll see what I'll do for part two. Anyway, enjoy and please subscribe and like.